Hey, hey, what's up? This is September week 3 on Raw. I have a match against Jeff Hardy. I'm not gonna say anything because I know it's gonna change. It changes every time. Hell, somebody's gonna come out and cut a promo like Ric Flair or Vince McMahon. And, uh, you know what? Let's just get it started. Oh, Lord. Vince McMahon is backstage and... We're about to find out. Something's about to go down. It's you, RVD. Well, duh. Why don't we build up more tension for tonight's matchup? How about you're going to be suspended if you lose the match? It has already been decided. You have no choice to be anally raped by the Hounds of Justice. If you don't like it, then just win, you son of a bitch. And RVD just stares. I have to win this matchup because if I don't, I will be suspended right away. And what if uh, Jeff Hardy loses the matchup? What's going to happen then? Does he get suspended? No, of course not because he's Jeff Hardy. He doesn't have to be suspended. He gets suspended by himself. By, uh, you know, drunk driving or something. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to rant about that. Um... I think he uh, he has improved himself, I guess. That was uh, about what, maybe a couple of years ago? Not even that. Maybe a year, year and a half ago when uh, it, did he uh, like show up drunk at this pay-per-view if I'm not mistaken and the match only lasted like maybe a minute, not even that, against Sting if I'm not mistaken. I know I keep saying if I'm not mistaken but I know for sure that's what happened. Uh, Sting came back, like, I think it was his return, I don't know, I don't watch TNA a lot, you know, but I think, uh, I watched a video, and uh, Sting came out and defeated Jeff Hardy, and Sting was really ticked off because he wanted to wrestle a match, but Sting was, uh, like, really ticked off, and he actually, oh my gosh, I just kicked uh, Earl Hebner in the face. As usual, it happens every single matchup. What matchup doesn't take place without me kicking Earl's face? RVD, such an awesome wrestler here. I can't wait for RVD's return. Come on, oh no, Earl is down. Can't even do anything. Well, on two. Oh wow, that was actually a uh, pretty uh, close. Surprise me. For a second. Oh no. I hope he doesn't cover me because if he does, you never know, man. I can lose this matchup. I don't want to get suspended. Ugh. Come on, Hounds of Justice. Speaking of Hounds of Justice, I just bought their freaking t shirt, dude. Oh my gosh. 
it is so freaking awesome. They say uh, it ships out tomorrow. Um, like nobody has it, not that I know of right now, you know. Or maybe some people do, I don't know. But it just got released. It's a black shirt with blue font, blue text, blue and blue and gray, blue. Um, and it's pretty awesome, man. Like it has wolves on the front or uh, dogs. And um, it's just, it's, it's pretty awesome. You have to, like, check it out. You can't go without getting that shirt, you know. It's probably one of the most awesome shirts I've seen. Um, sadly, I mean, I like, the thing is, like, WWE makes so many black t-shirts. Of course, it'll look good. Three. I just won the match. They make so many black t-shirts. I don't want all black t-shirts. It's just weird. I like to have different colors. Uh-oh. What? I just won the match. Why am I down and he has a microphone? What happened? What? Jeff Hardy's calling for somebody. Vince McMahon. Great. Ah, what the hell is going on, Jeff? Oh, he's coming down to the ring. Look at all those signs, man. You don't even see that. Not even in real life anymore. What's this? Oh, what's this? Vince McMahon is attacking with Jeff. What? I can feel their rage. Each strike is full of rage. What kind of commentary is that? This is unbelievable. I hope RVD is okay. Great.